With the prayers of our Holy Father, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Come, let us worship God, our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesu. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostre, Amen. Jesus taketh Peter, James, and John his brother, and bringeth them up into an high mountain apart, and was transfigured before them. The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou at my right hand until I make thine enemies the footstool of thy feet. A scepter of power shall the Lord send unto thee out of Zion. Rule thou in the midst of thine enemies. With thee is dominion in the day of thy power, in the splendor of thy saints. From the womb before the morning star have I begotten thee. The Lord hath sworn and will not repent. Thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. The Lord at thy right hand hath broken kings in the day of his wrath. He shall judge among the nations. He shall fill them with dead bodies. He shall crush the heads of many upon the earth. He shall drink of the brook in the way. Therefore shall he lift up his head. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Jesus taketh Peter, James, and John, his brother, and bringeth them up into a mountain apart, and was transfigured before them. His face did shine as the sun, and his raiment was as white as the light. Alleluia. I will confess thee, O Lord, with my whole heart, in the counsel of the upright and in the congregation. Great are the works of the Lord, sold out in all the things that he hath willed. Confession and majesty are his work, and his righteousness abideth unto ages of ages. He made a remembrance of his wondrous deeds. Merciful and compassionate is the Lord. He hath given food to them that fear him. He will be mindful forever of his covenant. The power of his worth has he declared unto his people. That he may give them an inheritance of the nations. The works of his hands are truth and judgment. Faithful are all his commandments, confirmed unto ages of ages, made in truth and uprightness. He hath sent redemption unto his people, he hath enjoined his covenant forever. Holy and terrible is his name. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and all they that foster this have a good understanding. 
His praise abideth unto ages of ages. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. His face did shine as the sun, and his raiment was white as the light. Alleluia. And behold, there appeared unto them Moses and Elias, talking with Jesus. Blessed is the man that feareth the Lord, in his commandment shall he greatly delight. His seed shall be mighty upon the earth, the generation of the upright shall be blessed. Glory and riches shall be in his house, and his righteousness abideth unto ages of ages. There hath risen up in darkness a light for the upright. He is merciful and compassionate and righteous. A good man is he that is compassionate and lendeth. He shall order his words with judgment, for he shall remain unshaken forever. In everlasting remembrance shall the righteous be. He shall not be afraid of evil tidings. His heart is ready to hope in the Lord. His heart is established. He shall not be afraid until he look down upon his enemies. He hath dispersed, he hath given to the poor. His righteousness abideth unto ages of ages. His horn shall be exalted with glory. The sinner shall see and be angered. He shall gnash with his teeth and melt away. The desire of the sinner shall perish. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And behold, there appeared unto them Moses and Elias talking with Jesus. While he yet spake, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them. Praise the Lord, O ye servants. Praise ye the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord from henceforth and forevermore. From the rising of the sun and to the going down of the same, the name of the Lord is to be praised. High above all the nations is the Lord, above the heavens is his glory. Who is like unto the Lord our God, who dwelleth on high and looketh down on things that are lowly in heaven and on the earth? Who raiseth up the poor man from the earth, and from the dunghill lifteth up the pauper, that he may seat him with princes, with the princes of his people, who maketh the barren woman to dwell in a house and be a mother rejoicing over children. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. While he yet spake, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them. A reading from the epistle of St. Paul to the Philippians. We look for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall change the body of our humiliation, that it may be conformed unto the body of his glory. Reading and response. Thou hast crowned it with glory and honor, O Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thou hast crowned him with glory and honor, O Lord, and madest him to have dominion of the works of thy hands, Alleluia. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou hast crowned him with glory and honor, O Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. 
All ye who seek for Jesus, raise your eyes above and upward gaze, that may ye see the wondrous sign of never-ending glory shine. Behold him in celestial rays, who never knoweth end of days, exalted infinite sublime, older than heaven or hell or time. This is the Gentiles King and Lord, the Prince by Judah's race adored, promised to Abraham of yore, and to his seed forevermore. To him the prophets testify, and that same witness from on high, the Father seals by his decree. Hear and believe, my son, saith he. <coughs> All glory, Lord, to thee we pay, transfigured on the mount today. All glory is as ever meet to Father and to Paraclete. Amen. Glorious didst thou appear in the sight of the Lord, because the Lord hath clothed thee with majesty. Christ Jesus, the brightness of the Father, and the express image of his person, who upholdeth all things by the word of his power, while he was by himself purging away our sins, vouchsafed on this day to shew himself in glory upon a high mountain. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim, who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, truth they had told us we magnify thee. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Saviour. For he hath regarded the lowliness of his handmaiden. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim, who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, truth they had told us we magnify thee. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty hath magnified me, and holy is his name. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim, who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, truth they had told us we magnify thee. And his mercy is on them that fear him throughout all generations. He hath shewed strength with his arm. He hath scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim, who without corruption gave his birth to God the word. Truth they had told us we magnify thee. He hath put down the mighty from their seat, and hath exalted the humble and meek. He hath filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he hath sent empty away. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim, who without corruption gave his birth to God the word. Truth they had told us we magnify thee. He remembering his mercy hath hope in his servant Israel, as he promised to our forefathers, Abraham and his seed forever. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim, who without corruption gave his birth to God the word, truth they had told us we magnify thee. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim, who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word. True Theotokos, we magnify thee. Christ Jesus, the brightness of the Father, and the express image of his person, who upholdeth all things by the word of his power, while he was by himself purging away our sins, vouchsafe on this day to shew himself in glory upon a high mountain. against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come unto thee. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. O God, who in the glorious transfiguration of thine only begotten Son didst confirm the mysteries of the faith by the testimony of the fathers, and in the voice which came down from the bright cloud didst marvelously foreshew the perfect adoption of sons, vouchsafe in thy mercy to make us co-heirs with this glorious King, and grant that we may be partakers of his glory. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Blessed Mother of God, the Virgin Mary, and all the saints intercede for us to the Lord. The Lord hath made his saints wonderful, and hath heard them when they called upon him. Let us pray. Defend us, we beseech thee, O Lord, from all perils of mind and body. And at the intercession of the blessed and glorious Mary, the ever-Virgin Mother of God, of blessed Joseph, of thy blessed apostles Peter and Paul, of blessed Michael the Archangel, and of our blessed Father Benedict and all saints, graciously bestow upon us both peace and safety, that all adversity and error being done away, thy church may serve thee in untroubled freedom. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the souls of the faithful through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. May the divine help remain with us always and with our absent brothers and sisters. Oh.